Hi everyone. Um, hope you everyone is having a good, good Friday. Today is the Friday before Easter, and uh, so anyway, our family is getting to m together tomorrow to dye Easter eggs, and that will be fun. This I didn't get to do that last year, and uh, so I have got all the Easter baskets that I was making before, and um, I also made. Um, there goes my phone. I also made those little bunnies that I showed you and some little tiny egg Easter egg crocheted that I put in the baskets along with some Kinder Joy eggs and some um, little chocolate candies and stuff in the basket. Now, um, in America, we don't get to have Kinder eggs. It's, ours has to be called Kinder Joy because they make you put the toy in a separate area because they're so afraid of kids getting choked on that. So we don't get to have the same thing Europe does. So it's called Kinder Joy um, because it is made just a little bit different. But that's what I'm getting, all of them. They were made for Easter. And so some of them are different colors on the end. I don't know how that's going to affect what kind of toy they get or not. Um, and if uh, my great nephew gets a toy that's too small for him, his mama can keep it for him till he's older. But um, I'm excited for them to get them. Uh, what I did is, because they're delicate, I've put them on a baking sheet and will carry it through the house in the baking sheet so that I don't have to carry them by the handle. I'm afraid they, they will lose their shape a little bit when they get carried by the handle. And I'd rather that happen after the kids get them. So, anyway, I don't have a way of posting a picture on here to show you the what the final product looks like. Um, I do have a picture I took, and I have a picture on my Facebook, but I don't know, I don't have the software, or I don't know how to use my Chromebook. I don't know if there's an app that I can use my, on my already on my Chromebook to put the picture into the video. I haven't figured out how to do that. So, <clears throat> if someone knows how to do that without me having to download another app, then just let me know. I really don't want to download another app. But anyway, so on to my works in progress. I'm being paid to make a mama turtle and 20 baby turtles for a game. And my niece saw that too, but this is not for her. Even though she's having a little boy in August, and my, I have another friend who's um, have her, she is having a baby shower. Her, she needs hers by June, so I don't know. But anyway, I made. I've got the twenty babies made. I did pink. I did them matching. These two aren't matching. I just picked two up, but they each have a match, and you know, pink and blue. So basically, there's five matching colors on each. So there are a total of 20, but this would make it easier <coughs> for a little ba ba boy or girl to play with and learn as they're learning. Um, I'm guessing that this the game will be played with the little kids as well, because my friend did not want me to do the eyes. No, it has no eyes. The eyes would have been on this side. Because this, this is the bottom view. It would have been on this side, on here. But I didn't add in the eyes. Um, and anyway, um, the feet there are pretty good. The way the pattern says. And I follow the directions onto the pattern. And this is how big it got. At first I thought it was pretty big. Then I put seven. One in the center and six around. To see if they would fit and then I was worried they wouldn't because seven fit comfortably and there's 20 and so I was worried that even if I did the pattern the way this is called for the extra rows of 96 that it probably might not fit and so I'm going to look at the pattern again before making my final decision but I did do something else this has 96 stitches around the outside of the yellow this also has 96 stitches around the outside layer round. It doesn't go any higher than that. 
and has 96. I simply did more rows, did started with 6 instead of 12 like the other, and I uh, didn't uh, double to 12 and, and didn't double to 24 like the other. So the other, other increases by 12, this one increases by 6, therefore it has more rows, it might take more work, but in the end it would bow up more and it might be good for a top shell. It'll be, it'd probably be okay for a bottom shell if I had done it for that. And if I make another turtle, I'll use this one for that. But I just wanted to see if I could make it where you can't see through. I do believe that you can see through areas. And I'm used to tie. I am really out of my element. I'm used to 2.5 millimeter hook. And I'm using a, a larger yarn, the 4, instead of the 3. And I'm using, and some 4s are better. Some 4s are almost like a 3. Um, I switched yellows because of that. And then the half double crochet stitch worked great with the yellow. And then the double crochet, you know, showed. I don't know if I had done 6, if I had done double crochet, like, around the same number count, like start with 6, then go to 12, etc. In increasing by 6 instead of increasing by 12. I don't know if that would have put the stitches tighter. It might have made it, the stitches even tighter. Um, but I'm thinking about doing the half double crochet. The, the babies have half double crochet on them, on the top shell. Not on the bottom, but on the top. So I'm thinking about doing half double crochet on the top shell to make sure there's plenty of room for 20 babies to go into it because kind of worried about that but it'll be okay I think see 96 stitches each it'll be somehow easily put there together it'll make it dome a little bit more but that'll be fine the babies will fit in there and it'll work out okay um, but anyway so that's where we're at right now I just wanted to see if I can get no holes. And I'm glad I did because I was worried about the babies not fitting inside it. And that is important for the babies to fit inside it. Now, on another note, today's been a good day. I mean, though it's rainy and bleary, dreary, bleary, blur, <laughs> bleary. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, anyway, so um, we got to babysit my great nephew today for a little bit my mom's great grandson his name is Beckley my niece his mama is having another baby in August and it's going to be a boy that's not for her my niece I have a different friend but anyway so I am having a good day it's been a very slow day but a good day and I finished that crocheting and I'm probably going to start on the pink part to the turtle soon. I have to have it done by June, but I almost had it done by Easter. It's not going to be done by Easter. Uh, our family likes to get together um, either the Saturday or the Friday before Easter to dye eggs. And then um, what happens after to the eggs is they go back into the refrigerator after we dye them. And then they get made into deviled eggs for Easter sun, Easter lunch, dinner, whatever time the family gathers together. Uh, some family members will be here in, on Sunday and some might not, but a lot of them will be here on Saturday. So we're all planning to get together. Now, last year at this time, I was in the hospital. I didn't get out of the hospital until the end of April. And so I didn't get to enjoy in the Easter egg dyeing. Um, my church did send me a Easter basket, even though the pastor never came to visit me. Hmm. Um, another member of the, the, the church that was a chaplain, and I think he still is at the hospital, came to visit me a couple times, but he wasn't my pastor. So he was a member of my church. But that's, that's the only one outside of my family that really came to visit me. Uh, I don't know, maybe some one other person did. I think, maybe, I'm not sure. One other person was advocating for me, but I don't think she came to visit in person because she lives further. 
But anyway, so I just really don't remember. That was almost a year ago. And I am getting better in the house. I'm not having to use the cane or the walker. If I go outside, and I don't have to get out of the car. And I don't have to worry about sitting down somewhere. I'll take the cane with me. Um, stepping off of the step might, is a little tricky. Uh, it helps to have um, my, hold my mom's hand or arm or something just to help me with my balance. and Because my balance is still an issue. I do have numbness in my feet from my diabetes. Um, but, you know, other than that, you know, I'm taking care of my feet. Doing good with that. And the, the foot that got broken... It is has more numbness in it than the other, so there's that factor. But in in stepping down off of the curb, um, it's a little tricky with the cane, and easy with the walker, but a little tricky with the cane. Um, but getting back up on to, to the curb, I think I did it once by myself with the cane. Um, the ground is not as even as inside the house, so. It is easier to get around inside the house without a cane or a walker. And I'm sure by doing that, I will am strengthening my knees and my um, legs and stamina and stuff. I'm still working on getting my stamina back. It takes a while. And I don't know. I am diabetic, so I don't know how far that will get. But anyway, so I am out of my element right now. Normally, I have this one has the four millimeter hook size on it. I normally use a the 2.5 millimeter hook size on it. The kit I think it goes up to six or seven nine millimeter. I'm not sure. Let me look. Let me look. I got it right here. I can tell you what size it goes up to. Might need to get my glasses to see. So this is the four. Let's see what size is the one right above it yeah I need my glasses gotta get my glasses I can't see I'm far-sighted not near-sighted this is 4.5 so this would be a 5 yep and 5.5 yep 5.5 get back in there correctly it fits in there like that. So this would be a six. Yep. And then probably a six point five. So it only goes up to six point five. Yeah. Oh, this is a J hook. The largest size is a J hook. Now there's extra hooks that probably can be gotten for this or a larger set. It probably doesn't sell this extra separate. Um and this spot's for the cord, and my cord is in the bottom of this thing for me to charge the light on this because this lights up and uh, it's charged. I use it when I have dark yarn, but if I have a light colored yarn like I'm using with, I'm okay and fine. Let me take the glasses off. Um, but anyway, so it goes up to 6.5, um, and I've only used the 2.5, the 3, the 3.5, and the 4 so far. Um, and before this pattern, I only used the 2.5 and the 3 millimeter. So this is a little larger than I'm used to using. I'm getting used to it. Um, I got ex got to get extra yarn, the 4 millimeter yarn for this project. And um, I, Mom had some scraps because some of the little baby things use so very little. I couldn't picture buying a whole set of yarn just for the center parts because you know two of these things is all two of the colors of each so ten yarns that only use little 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 not very much at all the babies were rather quick to make and um, some people think it's too advanced it's not really too advanced it's just that sometimes with amigurumi you want to make sure your stitches as tight as possible and sometimes you, and, and with this one, you're having to get used to the fact that your stitches are not going to be as tight as possible. Because I don't think I know how to get um, these double crochet so tight that you can't see through it. Um, yeah, 
on this one I think I already showed you these but on this one you can see through the stitches in some areas but that's okay it's not gonna have stuffing it's gonna have the baby turtles in it and uh, so I'm just having to get used to you know not having it tight enough to I mean the babies they didn't use single crochet yourself for going around it joining it and I'm going to repeat the same thing the directions tell you to sew the top to the bottom but I'm going to crochet the top to the bottom I just think that that will have a better look um, but anyway so I'm going to crochet the top to the bottom and make it look nice and that's what I'm going to do because you know it's for my friend um, anyway um, on another note I'm going to go ahead and get off here and say bye and um, so bye now um, then dad's going to do the kitchen so bye now nothing wrong with him going to the kitchen it's just that's the noise you hear bye now